What's up guys? It's the next morning and we're here to do some fishing on the family boat. We're going to be trolling for some white bass that we can do a catch, clean, and cook for you guys at home. Anyways, we'll catch you guys on the boat. Oh! I thought you said it wasn't going to spray this I didn't way. realize that it was like coming this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Quick little feet cleaning. Hold on. Is there space? Too rough. I'm making space for you, yeah. Thank you. Alright, I guess I'm not going to waste any time. Yeah, you can just set that throwable one up. Fracking fish in there. No way. The yeah. They just left what it in there. Fish? I don't know. Here, wait. Open it. it I think it's about it's catfish from yesterday. Looks Probably. Like. Ooh, yeah. it smells literally, cool. literally from yesterday. Dang, bro. All right, guys. Today we're here on Jacob's Guide Service. <laughs> <laughs> the suckiest service on the way. <laughs> well, we'll see. We might hook into some. Hi right, guys, we're going to be tying on this little jointed Rappler that we found at the pond. Rappler, Rapala, whatever. Rappler. Alright. Oh, oh, it just broke off. Are you serious? Yeah. Aww. The whole thing just randomly broke off. I don't know. I literally didn't. That's crazy. It didn't even get snagged. It literally went from having. Who the hell set that up? <laughs> Damn, the whole hellbender got taken? How did that happen? It's clean going. What is it? Do it look like it just. It's like clean. It's just. It literally looks like somebody was swimming down there with nail clippers and just. That's wild. <laughs> Let's try out the old crank. We got one. <laughs> Dang, now I really wish we had another hellbender. Yeah, you want to use this one? No, it's okay. Brookie's gotta do it. You don't really care to fish, do you? <laughs> Just grow it out. <laughs> when we start catching them, I'll. Okay, bad. That sounds good. I'll do the fun part. Good deal. We're coming up on 10 foot here. Oh, maybe in the bottom. Got one? Got one? Yeah. Sure. Oh, I think it came off. No, I definitely had a bite, dude. But I could have hit bottom really hard, I guess. I don't know. I suck at this. No wonder I'm unemployed as a guy to the fish. Babe, you've been out here for 45 minutes. Yeah, that'll be too hard on yourself. I caught the six inches. Dude, the weather's been terrible though. Let's do it. Okay, we're good. What? I had the I had the thumb spool open, so we're good. I got it. Oh, barely made it. You have something, right? What is that? Oh. Okay. So we caught a seven-inch fish. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If they were eating, they would be eating. Don't gotta overcomplicate it. We're not doing nothing wrong. They're just probably not really like feeding up, man. There's no sun, nothing. It's overcast. Hey, at least we didn't get skunked. I mean, is this the same bridge? Why do I feel like it's getting lower and lower? <laughs> right? Look at this, guys. We, we barely fit under this bridge. Oh, if we hit a big bump, that rod could be screwed. <laughs> Got 
Got a fish? That might be a fish. Yo, we got one. Yo. Hold on. Keeper. Get him in the boat though, Jake. The waypoint's more important. <laughs> What's more important? Let's go, Jake. Alright. It's a good one. Let me try one more right now, I'll get it to you. Dude, I don't even just catch me one. <laughs> just catch me one that I can knock the sides off. Catch and release it. Right into the grease. <laughs> and into my belly. We got a screamer! <laughs> nice, Jake's got another. Hey, he's a keeper too. Maybe. I don't want to be close. Yeah, we got do we have anything to measure them with? Oh there we go. I'll hold this up for you. I got it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's 10 all day. Hey, yeah. Oh. Dang! Let's catch 25. Nice. <laughs> Alright guys, quick little update. Seems like Jake found them. And I'm gonna tie on this little crankbait. Let's see if I can get one too. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm just Jake's no! camera. Look at that. Look at all those fish. Well, guys, Jake's found him. I guess I'm just Jake's personal cameraman today. <laughs> yeah, another one. Golly, I haven't even gotten the lure tied on and Jake's catching him. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, a good one. All right. Screw whatever I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, it's a good one for real. Oh, wow. That might be the biggest one. Swing him in, swing him in. Dude, that's like the size, maybe bigger that we were catching with the guide. Eugene. Eugene. Dude, let's go. Get you some more, man. Right there, dude. They're all, there's a ton of them. Keep going, dude. As many as you can, honestly. I wouldn't stop. No. Like, you do your thing, but I'm gonna keep going back and forth. Do it. Wow. <laughs> Jacob's guide service. Let's go. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop tying this uh, spoon up. <laughs> oh yeah. What is it? Oh. What do you mean pretty good? What the heck? That's a really good one. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> that way. If I may. I, think I gotta measure that one. Nah, heck no. That's a good one. And the belly on them look cool. All right. Let's go. Let's go find him again. Nice. Jake got a yellow. It's got some weird stuff on it. Probably just got hit. Oh yeah. Or attacked one of the two. Nice. Well, GoPro died right as I was changing out the battery. Jake got on a decent sized yellow and yeah. Um I'm still trying to get the spoon tied on. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, let's go! Wakey, wakey, eggs and jakey. We got us a fish. Morning time. Come here, sucker. Ski him in. Get it, dude. Get it. Get it how you fit it. By using other people's stuff. Woo! Jake put us on a keeper. Let's go. Oh, no, I got, got one. Yeah. Yep. God dang it, Jake, you done figured him out, Bubba. Let's fucking go, Jake. Let's fucking go. Why do you use expectations? Okay, the fish. Ah, another fish! I caught a fifth. A fifth. Fifth. Bro, I seen that happening with my third eye. Ow, mother. Did he just send me? Uh, Someone. yeah. Yeah, I just was gonna try and respect him a little bit. Well, he's not respecting you. Exactly. Oh, I gotta give him that hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hawk. Alright, we're gonna check this guy real quick. Boom. Zero to ten, that's ten. And I didn't even have to pinch nothing. Is that, it, nine? Is that it nine is. or ten? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a ten, sorry. <laughs> yes, it is a keeper. We, had we have eight or nine? Actually, I can't count. <laughs> There's eight in there. Eight. Okay. What is it? Hat? Thank you. See, so you have it on the bottom right here. Like, uh -huh. That's a big 
glob of them. Yep. There's one. Here we go. Let's go. That's a good one. Oh, he's fighting. Yeah. Nice, man. They're all good ones. Look at that fish. Fish. Yeah, but they have smash burgers. We should go. Oh, fish. Yeah. Woohoo! Woo! Oh, is that a yellow? No. Might be a short though. Yeah, that's kind of tiny. Woo! Oh, you got it on your zipper. Huh? Oh. XYZ. Uh, oh, I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, stop. Drop the batteries? All the way down there. Slide me, mother. No, 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 stop, stop. Oh, I can't get. Oh, hold on. Oh, you better be 10. I know all that for nothing. He ain't 10. He's not 10. He ain't. He ain't. You're a scumbag. Dang. Whatever. Sorry. <laughs> yes. A brick you wanted, actually? I've caught a couple. Sure. You can go back and forth. It doesn't really matter who catches them at this point. <laughs> as long as they get caught. Yeah, as long as they get in the boat. Pontoon's gonna get in my way. Yeah. Now they're watching us catch fish. As they kept boat. steadily drifting over there. Honestly. I don't see them catching nothing. Oh, there's Oh, that was immediate. Yeah, immediately. Immediately. Immediately, now. Immediately. I really wanted to get a yellow, too. If Wait, I could... These ones are just pooping everywhere. Yeah, they're full. Oh. oh, I'm not grabbing that one like that. Just open them up. That's so good. Dude. Dude. He's shaking his body like a belly dancer. There. Got a nice little splash session. Ridiculous. That was immediate. Like, I literally... Immediately. Barely did anything. Here, bro. You're up next. We take turns. Hurry! And I'm pretty sure we saw that guy in a different spot when we first pulled up. When that, when that one dude won't stop following you around on the lake, ass tracker. <laughs> That's genius, bro. All right, guys. Well, we're probably going to spend the rest of our afternoon doing this, just trying to catch some eaters. I'll update y'all if anything crazy happens, though. Dude, I'm, I'm so positive that the marina has them. I've been up in there too many times. Almost every time we go to Grant's, I, I make them stop in there for, like, absolutely no reason. I literally go in there, stare at the wall of baits for, like, five minutes, and just leave like a freaking moth to a fly, or to a light. Done around this little topwater spook, seeing if I can get a bite. I've seen some explosions throughout the, yeah, like literally right there in front of me. So if he wants to hit the spook, that'd be great. Literally what I was trying to get at. Well, we were pretty successful, I think. Got a whole bunch of keepers. We would have caught a bunch more if we had two of those hellbenders. Yeah, true. Where'd that yellow bass go? Wait, what? Where'd he go? It looked yellow, didn't it? No, it 100 percent looked yellow. Yeah, that's no, that it one. is. Yeah, it's, it's yellow. The other side doesn't look too yellow. No, but... not at all. But also, he's been sitting in the same water, maybe kind of losing his color. He's been sitting with some whites too. We got him, guys. We got some uh, nice white bass keepers. We're gonna knock the sides off them and throw them in some hot grease. Yeah, pretty much I just got a smash burger from there, some fried okra, french fries, and a baked potato. And we're about to just chow down, relax, enjoy ourselves, and then head back to the lake house. All right guys, we just got done grubbing. We decided to take a small nap. Now I haven't done this yet, 
but I felt like I'd be doing myself a disservice if I didn't go make a cast off of this stock. Or at least somewhere over here in the water. We've only got like one more day left. Tomorrow we have to check out and leave. So we won't really be able to fish. I mean, I'll be able to fish in the morning time, but this is the best opportunity for me to try and get a fish on camera for you guys and for you guys to see the fish because obviously this is the best lighting. So yeah, I'm gonna check around this double willow blade spinner bait and I'm gonna try and catch me a fish. All right, guys. Make a quick cast here with the spinner bait. See if we can hook into anything. If you guys remember, this is the spinner bait that I actually found at that lake. Took it, cleaned it up. I made that into a short video that y'all could check out. And now I'm here fishing with it at this lake, so hopefully I catch something. over here I apologize for the audio I'm sure it's really windy but hope I can get a bite if I do I'd imagine it would be a pretty decent fish and if I don't then at least I had fun and got to make some casts off of this dog All right guys, well I don't have too much time at the moment, but I think that we'll be back out to do some more fishing later on in the day. It was cool just making a few casts here off the dock and just getting to enjoy the lake. Well, it was a good attempt guys. Spinnerbait works fine. That's a good thing to note and yeah, I mean, it's always a good time watching the line fly off your reel. All right, let's pull up to a little bait shop. Let's see if they got any baits. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, they got some hellbenders right here. Straight white. We got the white and black one. I want to grab them both. I wish they had a chrome one. It says there's supposed to be a chrome one right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got these things called humdingers. It looks like the uh, little old little Georgies. If y'all uh, are familiar with those, like an old tailspin kind of bait. It's a really sweet bait shop, guys. If y'all are ever in the area, recommend y'all stopping by and checking them out. They got some bass stuff as well. They got largemouth fishermen. Got some really cool stuff too. Every time I come here, I think about getting one of these. It's a black and blue wiggle wart. It's pretty cool, man. But we came here with a plan in mind just to pick up some hellbenders. I gotta see if they got some small little, small little spoons or something I control. That's cool, they got H and H's. Some strike king cranks, poppers, soft plastic. Got a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm sure they got live bait too if you need that. That's cool, they got some Storm Marashis as well. Really nice bait right there. All sorts of fun stuff, man. You could come here and have a good time. So. Alright guys, as much as I want to go crazy and ball out, I'm just going to stick with these two. We got a plan in mind, let's just stick to the plan, and we'll be back for some of this other stuff on the wall. I'll get you over here. Cool. Oh. You technically before me. What? You were before me, really. Alright. Alright. You have a good day. You as well, thank you. Hello. All right, we got our baits. The lake is right there. Baits in hand, let's go get some fish. Like okay, awesome. Both of them. Perfect. They have. They don't have the chrome one. Okay. Unfortunately, they're out of stock. But I was able to get the white one with the yellow eyes and then the white and black one with the white eyes. And the reason why I got both of them is I figured like if one of them breaks off, I gotta back up. Or if I'm with someone fishing and right. it's working, I can Hopefully rig them up. More. Yeah, exactly. Like me and you. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
Alright guys, it is getting late. I'm pretty much just about done with all the activities, fishing, jet skiing, boating. Oh, we went tubing as well, which I wasn't really able to get that on camera, but was a lot of fun. Anyways, I got this little black prop bait. We're going to toss him around off the dock real quick before the fish fry is ready and uh, see if we can get into any bass. Hopefully we can. If not, then at least we had fun doing it. Alright, it's getting dark pretty quick, but if I get one, then it'll be all worth it. I'm not really sure what you guys can see because, like I said, it's really dark. And I don't have my Zeus or my flashlight, but yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to see more once we get to the boathouse because there's some light. We got some boys that beat me to fishing. Already throwing some poles in there. Yes, bro. It's you got one. Straight under. Okay, it's probably a big kitty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> huh? Hi. <laughs> it always happens. It's all good, man. gonna go set jug lines. Yeah, that's what he was saying. What do you got on there? Uh, it is. You know what a whopper plopper is? Yeah. That's pretty much what it is. It's just a cheapo version. It's from Walmart. It's like five or six bucks. And it's just like, if I lose them, I don't care too much about them. Cause, well, it's not that I don't care too much about them. I obviously care, but like Whopper Ploppers are like 15 bucks, 20 bucks sometimes, depending on where you get them. So these are just a bit more affordable. I guess I can, I can't really afford to lose it, but I take less of a hit. Golly, that was a bad cast. I'm dying. Immediately. Oh, I see. Cutting me off. Look at this. No, I'm just kidding. That's why we need this flood box. I'm trying to get it up under there. I got it up under there. <laughs> but I might have busted the lure. All right, guys. Quick update while we got some light here from the boathouse. I was chucking the prop bait around, talking to Greg, and as you guys heard, I banged it up against the side of the dock and it's just bent all wonky out of shape. I could bend it back if I had my pliers, but I don't. I'm just going to try and bend it with my hands. Are yeah, we're coming. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to call it for the night. Dinner is ready. I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. And it's too dark to even see to fix my property. So, I'm definitely going to have to call it. There's all the fish we caught, guys. So we said, or Pop said, this is catfish, crappie, crappie, catfish, catfish, crappie, crappie. sand bass, chicken wings. pepper wings, fries, hash puppies, coleslaw. The works, guys. It does not get any better than that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off and enjoy this good food. All right, guys. So we got white bass, crappie, and catfish. We're gonna do a little taste test and see which one tastes the best. Anyways, I'm going to dig into this and I'll give you all my honest opinion. Alright guys, after trying the catfish, crappie, and white bass, hands down, crappie takes the cake. It's delicious, tender, sweet. What's your favorite one? This one. Which one's that one? I think this one. That's the white bass. Yeah, it's really huh. I like it. Okay. Nemi likes the white bass, which is this one right here. It's all good. It's all, yeah. It's all clean, white meat. That's bussin? so good. Is it bussin? Is it bussin? <laughs> you can take it if you want. I'll give you half of it. Okay, but Thank you. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? This one? That one? That one you just ate? Okay. So Kane's favorite is the white bass. I'm going to try it all with some lemon, guys. Alright guys, well I caught us a decent catfish. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's go. We decided to do some night fishing with worms and we got us a catfish. Let's go. Well, Coop just got us on a catfish as well. So far we got two catches and two kitties. We might have had hooked on a dead body or something. Nice. Let's go, Greg. I see one right there. The first one was right past that. I'm missing this one. Let's go. Teamwork. Alright guys. That might do it for night fishing. We're going to check some jugs that we set out earlier. Hopefully there's some catfish on there. Or hopefully there's any fish on there. If there isn't, 
we're just gonna head in for the night. If there is, we might drop them back and do some more fishing, I'm not sure. But hopefully there's some more catfish to go with the two that me and Cooper just caught. A little bit rocky. All right, guys, checking our first jug line here. Coop's gonna let us know. Does it feel heavy? Okay, first one checked, nothing. All right, guys, we're checking the second jug. There we go. Send them back or pull them up? No, we'll set it back in there. We'll check them in the morning. Okay. All right. Jug number two, bust. We're going to keep going for it, guys. All right. Jug number three. Coop's pulling this one up. It has something? Okay. Is there one more hook? Oh, he took the bait, though. The bottom one. All right, guys. Well, we caught these two kitties, but we only caught the two fish, and I don't feel like... We should fillet just these two fish, and I don't really have my knives to do it. So I think we're just gonna release them. Woo! There's Coop's though. Catfish. Now you can see him in the light, Cooper. That's a pretty good one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Go forward and prosper. <laughs> There's the big one. Oh, nice. How much do you think he weighs holding him up? Maybe pound like and a half, two pounds. <laughs> two pounds, really? Maybe a pound and a half. He's got to be a little bit more than that, you think? There's no scale in here, anyways. We'll never know. It was a ten pound. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for us. That's all the fun and adventures we got planned for the night. So, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it and head back to the Airbnb. But it was fun. I really appreciate y'all clicking to watch this video. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment for me. And if you haven't already, hit the notification bell to stay following along the channel. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate y'all for following along. And until next time, keep cool and stay fishing.